Hi guys, I'm really excited to bring to you our latest offering. Foyer Shapes allows you to create your own products with the same ease of use as you are used to working with Neo. You can draw shapes on any surface and modify them using tools such as Extrude and Follow Me. Now, the only limitation in design is your imagination. In this video, you'll get to learn how to get started with Foyer Shapes. We'll go through a summary of tools available and their advanced options. We'll look at a real use case and then work with uh, things like snapping, extrude, intrude. And we will then use it as a foyer product. Then we'll finish our design by applying textures, taking a render. And then we'll look how to edit the product. I'm going to cover these lessons with a very simple use case. I'm going to recreate this TV unit on Neo. So let's get started. Let's create a room and click on create new product. Note that this will only be seen if you don't have any object selected. And you can see that my UI changes. I have my 2D drawing tools like line, rectangle, circle, circle, arc, trim, offset. And then I have my geometry modification tools like extrude and follow me. If you notice each of these has a shortcut, just hover over the icon to know the shortcut and memorize it. It will really help you in your design later on. To get started, you need to select a plane. The plane selection happens according to the product that you want to create. For example, in our case, we are creating a TV panel. So I would most likely draw it on a wall. But if you were to create something like a false ceiling, it will go on the ceiling. Or if you were to create a box or a table, it will go on floor. So just be wary of that fact. Uh, let's select Rec tool and notice how my cursor changes to indicate the plane. I can only draw on one plane at a time in this version. An important point to mention here is that uh, remember I am drawing a product and not an entire design inside for your shapes. Okay, so once I've created this plane, I can extrude this geometry. I'll use the push pull tool and let me just write thickness in this input box. I can simply select the tool and hover over the face for feedback. You notice this blue highlight to show you that this is the surface that is going to be pushed or pulled. So let's draw some drawers on our TV unit. Let me use my line tool to do so. Okay, I'm done drawing the drawers. Uh, let's look at some advanced options now. Let's look at offset. I can take an offset of a face or I can use this toggle right here to take an offset of a line. Let's look at some options that make drawing a breeze. One of such options is snapping. So while taking offset, I can just hover over this line to make sure the width is equal. I can use the same action while extrude. See how this works. Snapping also helps in drawing lines. I can also snap from midpoint of any line to the edge of any other line. So I can just hover over this line to take a reference and draw a parallel line to this particular line. Okay, so I've drawn these lines, but I don't really need them in my design. So let's let me just delete them. Delete them. Uh, deleting them is simple. I can use this trim tool and I can just hover over these lines. 
The last option that I want to show you is ruler. Let's make the ledges of the TV panel using rulers. I can just select the ruler. I can also use snap to center in this case. I just have to hover over the line. So let me just quickly complete this. Then let me select the line tool and complete the 2D drawing. Note that rulers are just for references. These are not actual lines. Cool. I can now remove the rulers. You remember the trim tool? I can use that. Notice that I don't have to select the ruler one by one. I can just hover over the rulers to make this work. Great. Let's just extrude these faces and we are done. Notice how I used snapping like I explained in earlier. I can now press done and exit out of this mode. We are now in 3D mode. Look at this. This is a product that we created entirely by ourselves, right? Let's move this product to the left. You see how it behaves exactly like a foyer product. But you know something's missing. So let's apply some textures on it. We can use foil materials library and use text, some textures from it. You just have to click on the texture that you want and then click on the geometry to apply. Done. Now this works as foil product. So you can drag and drop any product from our catalog and attach it to the product that we just created. So let's put some TV and some accessory items. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? Well, I'm not happy with the thickness of the ledge on top. I think I'll resize it. So I will need to modify the geometry. Let me select the product and click on modify here. You see that how the environment is hidden here. You can get it back by clicking on the toggle key on top. Now let's render this particular product and see how it looks like. Great. We now have our own TV unit made from scratch within minutes. You can use this feature for creating fall ceilings, wardrobes, tables, kitchen units. I hope this video was useful to help you get started. In the next video, we'll cover some more topics such as copy, move and follow me. Do subscribe to our channel to learn about more such updates. Until then, 